It is August 21st, 2019, 5.04 p.m. Here is a cartoon that a lot of newspapers will not run. <laughs> Probably just because of the, the mess on the floor. Um, I totally had sketched out my planned cartoon, which was on um, the upcoming recession. And then this happened. And I thought, so I was debating both between them and so let me push back the, the recession one and do this um and damn he made news like three or four more times today too um so i started this about 1 30 but then drunk people came home and they wouldn't stop talking in the other room for like so like six so it took me a really long time to get into my zone So I finished this cartoon about 10. <laughs> it took way too long with this cartoon. Um, a lot of procrastination. I wasn't really able to get into my zone with it until about 6 a.m. I was like, man, the sun's coming up. <laughs> I mean, nothing was landing right. It, I mean, this was way before you see the recorded parts here, but it just took me a while to get going. I can get knocked out real, knocked out of that zone real easy sometimes. Just can, just can, just can. And I was thinking, watch this happen tonight, and it did. <laughs> But anyway, Trump is being a child, he was told, uh, Denmark, uh, rejected his idea of buying Greenland because it was an absurd idea, and the Prime Minister said it was absurd. So Trump has now called her a nasty woman for saying it was absurd. How dare she? How dare she say an absurd idea was absurd? So he's insulted the Queen of Denmark, the Prime Minister, the entire nation, and Denmark... Some politicians are saying, you know, we need to be closer to the European Union now than to, to the United States because of Donald Trump. This is what the guy's doing. And it's kind of proven it when he's talking about putting uh, Russia back into the G7, making it the G8, and even lying about why Russia got out of it or was, not, or was voted out. There goes Trump. Uh, ruining alliances, praising enemies, and... Embarrassing the United States. Yes, we have a big orange baby. <laughs> no, the problem is nobody in the White House told him it was an absurd idea. You know, because they can't. You know, they all ha have to kiss the big orange ass. Someone else who doesn't have to cow to Trump says that's an absurd idea. He gets upset. And since it's a woman, he's got to go, Hey, he's nasty. All right. Do some shout outs. Shout out, that, that, out, out. Gonna do some shout out. President Oso said, cool cartoon with the last one. And that was the one on, uh, was that on the uh, Trump Boys? Yes, it was. Yeah. On Obama Avenue. And Amanda Kinson said, best video ever. I have no recollection of what's in there that would make it the best video ever. Um, but I did the, the same subject with CNN, and Robert Cortino said, yeah, I like the CNN one. One more, too. So, good call, CNN? With question mark. You're not sure about that, are you? And Mr. Cortina also said, given that the president likes to put his name on anything, this really would troll him. Yes, it would. Uh, Ariel came in, said comment, which is nothing to say. Too bad. TJ said, no comment. Thanks for leaving a no comment in the comment section. There, buddy. I don't think you understand how it works. Um, Bob Mama talks about oil lobbyists. Um... Don't have the subject. But thanks, Bob Mama. You're, you're welcome to come in and here and do that. All you want. So today I called the New York Times. This is interesting. Oh, do you guys like all the little things in here? I was Googling baby toys and stuff. And um, I was trying to think about what Amanda's child has, but Amanda's child is not really a baby anymore, so I didn't really use any of her toys. Plus, her toys are pretty cool because she has, like, dinosaurs and sharks. So I don't want to get Trump really cool toys. Um, the kid has a lot of dinosaurs. She really does. Um, and she loves sharks. 
This thing is all like dinosaurs and sharks. And, um, so I was just going through thinking of things to put in here. You got Chunky Bear, you got the clan in the box. <laughs> A couple people commented on that one. Oh, Amanda, uh, by the way, uh, I heard your recording of your friend's guitar playing it, and she is really good. I liked it. She doesn't like me, but I liked her guitar playing it. It was nice. Amanda's girlfriend does not like me. Um, she's probably nasty. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, today I called the New York Times to cancel my subscription because I procrastinate. And I told the lady it was because of the whole um, thing with them canceling cartoons and firing the cartoons and she told me oh that's a temporary decision we don't know when uh they'll bring the cartoons back and i told her no it's not um you guys said that it was permanent and she said well i didn't see any stories that said that and i said so that story was actually in the new york times do you have a subscription <laughs> that was kind of fun but she was very nice actually so she's probably wasn't located in new york city Almost done, folks. Got like a minute left. And if you know who that guy is, I will give you a wooden nickel. You'll win the prize today. Not the guy in the picture. <laughs> the other guy. The other guy, not that guy. And I was Googling also the Oval Office, just mostly to look at the door and the the, the, the border and the ceiling. There's your cartoon, folks. And um, push the red button. Um, I don't know how I got that. This idea, by the way, people are like, how do you get your ideas? I don't know. Um, push the red button, become a subscriber to the YouTube channel. Uh, and if you leave a comment, I will give you a shout out. Even if it just says comment or no comment. Nah. All right. Uh, by the way, when Donald Trump heard the news about from the Dutch prime minister, he went, <laughs> all right. See you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.